This is, <laughs> hey folks. <laughs> well, I'm here to talk about MVPs. Um, not the sports reference, that's minimum viable products. Quick question, who likes car games? Who likes drinking? Who's a geriatric millennial? Don't lie, half y'all in here are old, you're trying to act like you're not. But, so start from the bottom, now we're here. So actually my game is, um, or brand is actually party card mashup. It's a new party for old card games. So I actually took Old Maid, made that into a sipping game. I explained how it became a sipping game. Um, and even other games, Slapjack and all the rest. But at the very beginning, it looked horrible. It was a very ugly box that was huge, three times the size of the cards. But ASC flourished into all of this. Why? Because I happened to listen, reiterate, launch, and repeat. I did not get stuck in this reiteration station and wanted to just kind of launch. And it all started with a lie. So I was playing card games with friends at a cabin, picture it, 2021, pandemic, we had nothing else to do. And then I'm playing the, card, the drinking game, and I realized, like, I don't like shots. I am 30, and I realized that, like, my recovery is going to be bad. So I made, I made a game. This was the first box, obviously the size of cards. It was horrible. But I still lied and said, hey, friends, I found this on Amazon. Let's play this game. And they were like, cool. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, why is the box so big? I was like, I don't know. That, I don't know who made that, but let's just play it. <laughs> so we played it. And then it was like, oh, I actually got feedback from them. You know, when you lie to your friends, they give you honest feedback. Um, then when you tell them it's yours, they try to give you, you know, Oh, it's really great. And it's like, no, if it's bad, it's bad. Tell me. So I actually made it into a game, took that, and was like, all right, let me go change the box a little bit. Let me just go back and reiterate a quick touch. Still didn't know what I was doing. Box came out, you know, medium size. But I still took that and was like, you know what? I'm going to make this into a game. I know I'm not the only one out there that appreciates a good sipping game, or in my case, where gameplay is first and sipping is second. I'm not the only one that's out here as geriatric millennial. So therefore, I went ahead and launched it. Didn't know what I was doing. This is all a four-week span. So I'm just kind of like, all right, I launched this game. I feel great. I put it out there. I think we all get that buzz, you know, when you, like, launch something to where, like, it's the best thing ever. No, it's not. It was horrible. Like, <laughs> I literally rated myself an F on everything. Website was awful. I didn't know what I was doing on Squarespace. Like, the game was the game. I'm like, it's going to change the world. It's world peace. Horrible. Social media was trash. Like, everything <laughs> was awful. But I still took a shot. I said, you know, <laughs> Literally going to go on Target's website, and so I'm going to apply to be a diversity supplier. I was two weeks in business, still didn't know what I was doing, but again, it's all stemmed from having an MVP and just going for it. So it turned into actually me getting to Target for Founders, which is a really cool accelerator, accelerator program. They were helping black and brown businesses understand the power of um, mass retail and what you actually need to do in order to survive, keyword survive, and stay on the shelf. So that was really cool. Um, after that, it was kind of like taking the challenge of actually building a brand. So I was like, you know, I'm like two months in. I'm like, sure, I'll make this a whole brand because I guess I have a thing going on. And again, still stemming from this MVP of like just trying to get it together. So it went from a large box to a medium box to a box that actually makes sense that you could put in your pocket that I have in my bag over there that you could bring it in everywhere with you. And I was like, hey, now I feel like I actually have something. But again, that took a handful of months. It was not perfect. I just decided to listen, um, reiterate, launch, and repeat. That was the whole piece. So I moved forward. I was like, I'm, you know, go forward. I got my games. I got my stuff again, trying to go so solve world peace. Didn't happen. But I still created this game and the brand. And I felt something after doing Target 4. I found I was like, hey, I kind of came out with this MB MBA and uh, mass retail, as I call it, and launched two more games. So then it's 2022. Again, still don't know what I'm doing. And launched it anyway. Had the same approach with MVPs. I was like, I'll just take it make these two games, and then kind of go forward. Then I was trying to act like I had a real business. So day job, I work at Amazon. Hey, Amazon. Um, and I work in, in brand protection. Um, then I also was like, let me apply the things I learned in these corporate jobs that I have and do a competitive outlook. And it was awful. So I kind of got a lot of sort of feedback, which was like, oh, we like the fine, but then this is bad. And then, you know, this kept going on and on. And it's like, you know, oh, Uno just did this. I'm like, we're not Uno. Then I was like, I'm tired of hearing about these cats exploding. I'm not exploding kittens. Like, it just kept going. I was like, okay, I got it. I lo love exploding kittens, by the way. But I'm not, I don't have cats. So therefore, I was like, let me just try to work on, you know, being okay with reiterating. So I launched those two games after the first one and built the brand. And again, I went to, even today, I'm still reiterating two years later, I'm reiterating the two games that I did have because I realized like, hey, hey, these games are, you know, they're there, they're just not there yet based on feedback. So don't be scared, folks, to just get out there, you know, make MVPs, that's how you test games, especially card games and tabletop games, and listen, reiterate, launch and repeat. Don't be scared of the process. 
Again, I'm Danza Huey, founder and CEO of Party Card Mashup. Follow me on things, click like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Okay, great. <laughs> really nice job.